Well, just a week after an American anti-vaccination campaigner cancelled her speaking tour of Australia, doctors in the US have issued a warning about the number of children not being vaccinated there. It comes as the country experiences a large-scale outbreak of measles that began at Disneyland. Even the president has weighed in, urging parents to protect their kids from the potentially deadly virus. North America correspondent Lisa Miller reports. It's contagious and spreading from coast to coast. This is the worst measles outbreak in years. I think there's a heightened concern right now out in our community. It started here at Disneyland, and now authorities are tracking thousands of people in New York who shared a train with an infected college student. Fifteen years ago, the US had all but eliminated measles. Doctors are pointing the blame at parents refusing to vaccinate their children. I consider the mindset of anti-vaccination to be very dangerous. It's very dangerous for the people who are espousing that opinion. It's dangerous for their own children and families, but it really puts the rest of the population at risk. With the Centers for Disease Control warning of a large-scale outbreak, even the president is calling on parents to be guided by the science. The science is you know, pretty indisputable. We've looked at this again and again. There is every reason to get vaccinated, there aren't reasons to not. The anti-vaccination movement in the US has become increasingly vocal, especially on social media. Many of them still use the long discredited research linking autism to vaccines as the basis for their arguments. Doctors despair of the amount of time and money spent countering their claims. There have been no reported deaths from this measles outbreak, but doctors say it can be fatal. Lisa Miller, ABC News, Washington.